Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, fresh from the fridge, and welcome to a new series and episode known as Warframe with my friend Cronin. Hello. Uh, before we start, I have to finally do the shout out of the day because I finally, as I promised in my last uh, description that I put in one of my videos, um, I like to gather up people's names to, like, have more than just one person at a time to give a shout-out for all the people out there that's part of the community that has helped me by pretty much enjoying my videos and sharing it with all of you. Uh, we have Scarlet Rhodes, uh, Leoska, uh, Bewoman90, I hope I said that right, Shadow Target, and Mr. Irish5. Thank you all so much for the subscriptions, as well as the very kind comments you left in the videos. And thank you also for sharing them with other people that you know. I would not have been able to progress this far without you guys. And in the description below, I'll make sure to leave a link to my friend Cronin's uh, YouTube channel so you guys can check him out. <clears throat> so, Warframe. I never thought I'd get to finally record this. I wish I was recording it around day one of playing it, but then again, I would not be able to get as far as I am right now here. So, we are excited because, one, I have the new Warframe Garuda. And we are going to be doing the new Fortuna expansion. Me and Cronin are excited for it, aren't you, Cronin? My nipples are hard. <laughs> I can cut diamond with them now. <laughs> Such armor-piercing nips. Oh uh, yes. All right. So in order, I have not yet done the quest. I didn't want to do it because I wanted to save it for the day. Uh, Cronin's done it a little bit. So Cronin, tell us a little bit of your uh, experience with the uh, the quest so far. What's your thoughts about it? Pain and agony. Actually, no, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's just annoying because they send a lot of enemies at you. But if you want to level stuff really quickly or at least do so enjoyably, this is one way you could do it, I guess, as a different way instead of just doing infested survival constantly. The area is very large. Um, you will want to either buy a K-Drive, which is the new hoverboard thing that all the cool kids on the block are using, or get an Arcwing uh, deployment uh, part that you can now use permanently. You don't have to keep making more so, how do you make them permanent? Like, did, did they just make it permanent? They just made them permanent. Literally, when you build the, the, the frickin' Arcwing launcher, you don't have to keep building more and more. You just have it once, and you just use it however many times you want. So, how come I still It's have not to... like the Plains of Eidolon. Oh, so pretty much, um... This Arcwing launcher, I can see what you mean now, because instead of saying you get 50 charges, now you just have it. Yeah. All right. So sometime, uh, me and Cronin off camera after this recording or during it, depending on how much stuff we can be able to do before we have to farm for stuff, uh, Cronin will help me get the erudite for that, and we can enjoy that as well. But for now, um, in this quest, it says I have to talk to someone. Uh, uh yes. Utico in Fortuna. Yes, and she has also slowly become my most hated character in this game, next to Vayhack. I prefer Chicken Leg Boy than this lady. <laughs> oh, I can tell. I'm gonna enjoy a lot of rage from this video from your end. Are... She's such an asshole. <laughs> Are you ready, Cronin, for Fortuna? In fact, sir, I am ready for Fortuna. Ye. Ooh! Hello. Weird person. Oh, this music! And a cutscene! I actually like the looks of their chairs. It is an interesting chair. Oh my god, I want to make those guns so badly. <laughs> I will tell you that there are the parts, you have to get three parts, the barrel, receiver, and magazine. Uh -huh. They're like 500 standing a piece. Huh. 
I love this music. Sons and daughters hide the heart of who we are, making peace to build a future strong, united, working till we call the air and water flowing hard, the land we call our home. Push to keep the dark from coming, feel the weight of what we owe. This the song of sons and daughters I, the heart of who we are Making peace to build a future Strong, united, working till we fall And we all lift And we're all adrift together Oh my god, this is amazing oh, It gets better One thing we should do is uh, work to get a K-Drive today. Definitely. Because oh. here's the thing, constantly rolling and bullet diving to get where you want is kind of painful with the kind of distance you're dealing with. Whoa! I just landed. Uh, hello, stranger! Yeah, you, you spotted me landing here, yeah. Uh, uh, whoa! So, where, where first, where are you? Uh, I will go to the spawning area. Hold on. Yeah. So, here we are, everyone. We are in Fortuna. Ah, oh, there you are. Alright, lead, lead the way so I can find this uh, Utico person. Before me is the weapons crafter. She's crazy. She has an alternative AI in her brain. Oh wow, these people have voices now? Yes. Wow. This is all amazing stuff here. If you want to know why the water looks like jello slowly being pooped out of a wall, it's because that's not actually water, that's coolant. Which will be explained early or later. All right. Definitely, if you wish, Cronin, for the viewers, you could give them a a little history lesson of what you've learned uh, in this planet so far. Uh, basically everything's really fucking hot. The Orkin said, "Hey, let's make it really fucking cold," and they started dumping a shit ton of coolant from the sky, and then end up making everything snowy. There's your lore. Wow. I, I just can I literally condensed about three hours worth of, <laughs> of lore into about the equivalent of ten <laughs> seconds. And this is the guy? Yep. I would not think that that's a woman. Yeah, they're, what's funny is that they're taller than us Tenno, which a Tenno stands at like eight foot tall. These people are huge. Repo order. Ugly thing repossession. A Solaris falls too deep in debt, and Neff sends in his repo squad to take what he says he's owed. You know, mechanical body parts, even a full rig. In Thursby's case, because he got none of that, they take the organics, arms and legs. Yeah, there's a market for those too. Well then. So, we have to find a person named Thursby, which is over this way. Yes, he is an interesting fellow. And he is in a repo debt, which is a very, very bad thing. And, oh, there he is. Uh, God damn, so many people crowding here. Excuse me, everyone, pardon me. Yudiko sent me. Yudiko sent you? A Tenno? To help make me grow 
Laura? Well, Bingo. You know, you could buy some scrap, but if you really wanted to help, you could source me some supplies. Something I can sell, not this garbage. I know where the tax man keeps the good stuff. If you're up for that sort of thing, boss, head topside. Oh, we're, we're already going to be headed topside. Okay. Indeed we shall. And the viewers shall see the glory that is Fortuna. Alright, and I can ask this guy about Utico. I want to at least make sure everything's taken care of, so let me... Yee yee. I shall run around here and do things that involves rolling violently. Yes. When you're ready, tell me. Yep. I'm just gonna violently roll around here and hopefully pull my hip. <laughs> and you'll have to carry me around and feed me Twinkies. I'll also flick my nips while you do so. <laughs> Alright, Thursby, tell me about the debt. Yes, Thursby, tell him about the debt while I flick my nipple. Um, wait. He says he has no augments, yet he has an augmented head. How does that make sense? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, let's go topside then, I guess. Yes, let us go topside and fuck some shit up in the hood. <laughs> Ooh. I'm good, sir. This let's is go. a new door. Oh, wait, is this an elevator? Yes. See, this is what happened when they corporatized Narnia's uh, portal. The Lion, the Witch, and the $345 billion elevator. So these people, their race is known as Solaris? Uh, their civilization is, yeah. Ah, okay. This is actually very cool. Like, they don't take corpus culture to the fullest like most races, but they do have an idea of bargaining. Ooh, okay, everything's lagging for a moment because everything's loading. Oh, so guess what I'm doing? Um, well, so far I don't see you outside yet. D just take a guess what I'm doing. Rolling in the snow? I will do that for the viewers. But my viewers, I'm recording. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Looks like we're getting a double show. Indeed, we are. And I'm outside, by the way. Uh, where are you? I don't see you. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of wondering where you are. Uh, do I have to get out from a. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if you have to do the first start missions before you can uh, join me. Yeah. All right. Because I remember on some missions there's some stuff you have to do versus stuff that I can do. Oh, okay. I, I'll. I'll uh... Unless it just fixes itself and you just appear in front of me. Whoa! Spiders! Yes. Hooter man. Ow! These things are not nice! Of course they're not, they're fucking spiders that have guns built into them. Ha, I got a scan of you. Jeez, okay. I will say this much is that it would not be a bad idea to grab a rifle that can get good distance, uh, like a sniper rifle or a rifle that has a scope on it. I have just that. Well, it doesn't have a scope scope, but I I can scope with this. Also, just so you know, uh, enemies will teleport in front of you. You will see how and why. All right. You're not going to like it either, because they literally teleport right on top of you. This is definitely going to be harder, I can tell. 
Huh? I found a cache. How do I open it? Uh, go to the front side of it. <sighs> Is it yellow? Uh, yeah, it has like a yellow. Go around it until you start seeing a prompt. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing as well when I first started. I was like sitting there wailing on the thing. Ooh, ooh, found a plant that I could destroy. What the hell? A fucking osprey that sends out a shockwave? Yeah, huh? God damn, everything is upgraded! Oh, you you haven't seen nothing yet. Keep going. Um, here's something that you should uh, tell the viewers. Um, okay. I heard that there is still gonna be a type of fishing in this. How have you ever got to do the fishing yet, and what's it like? I have not yet gotten to do the fishing yet, but I do know how it works. Uh, basically, you're dealing with robotic fish, and the quality of that fish is determined by how well you uh, fish it. If you use, uh, pardon me, uh, if you use the old fishing equipment, the fishing spear from Plains of Eidolon, it will damage the fish, and the value will not be as high. That is what I've read. Uh, but you can buy the fishing spear that's supposed to be used, and that one will maintain its value. Okay, and I found a funny glitch that I'm seeing. What is it? There's a Terra Shockwave MOA standing in the sky. Hi. Yeah, this is still glitchy. Uh, earlier I had to completely fail a mission and restart it because of the fact that uh, there was a gunship that was supposed to give... Reinforcements to an area because you're supposed to kill some reinforcements. Um, but it couldn't do so. So, yeah. Whoa! These guys got some interesting new guns! Yep. And I'm guessing these are part of the new guns you can make. Uh, not that I know of, actually. There it is! I finally found it! Alright, I got all three. How are you doing on your end? What? How are you doing on your end? Uh, I'm doing alright, but apparently Thursby is in trouble because he just blurted out what he plans to do to the corpus. Yep. There's a drone. You gotta get the drone. You may not like that next one because it's it can get a little annoying. Oh god. It shouldn't be too bad, but. Ah! I just destroyed a Corpus vehicle. I'm such a horrid shot right now. Ah. All these new containers and stuff, I'm enjoying scanning all this. Yeah, there's a lot to scan. Um, if you have a Sentinel that scans a lot like Helios, you may wish to deploy it here. Oh. I unfortunately don't have Helios anymore because I'm a fucking idiot. Luckily, I have my infinite charges uh, synthesis scanner. Yeah, but I mean, if you have a drone that does, does it automatically, it's a lot easier. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier because it uh, auto locks onto the thing. But I'm doing all right so far. Oh yeah, I'm coming to kill. Mata. I found a drone. I said, die! Okay, fine. Got the drone. Wow, that looks like a sentinel. What the hell? It got back up! Uh, 
Oh, it's... Oh, okay. Oh, hey, dude, I just got the Garuda chassis blueprint. Huh. Oh, you already have her, but I still need to work for her. I'm <laughs> sad now because of that. One more unit I have to kill. Where is he? There he is. Got him. Come on, out of all the areas they send me to get credits, of course I'm in an area that is so devoid of credits that it's depressing. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go kill some enemies. Surprise, motherfucker! Holy shit! E. Shockwave Moa cabled me and kicked me in the head! Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, okay, I get it, Corpus. You don't like me being here. I'm leaving. Well, after I scan you, because I'm seeing more of you to scan. Well, actually, no, you're done being scanned. Oh my god. Can you come back so I can kick your ass? I'm heading back inside. Okay. We still got a little bit more to go here. Oh, for some. Oh, okay. A lot of really cool resources. I'm back! Yeah, I got another Garuda chassis blueprint. Oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna face mini Zanukas. What? I'm sorry, what? You're gonna face mini Zanukas. Oh, great. Oh yeah, and there's also crewmen with Opticores now, so... Mm. Hmm. So, have fun getting hit by an Opticore in the penis. That sounds a little... terrifying. The Business. That's his name, is The Business? Yes, and he's a much better character than any of the other characters in there. Well, let's hear what he has to say. How do you do, My mission is to conserve this region's unique species. You know, before the corpus drive them to extinction. I'm known as the business. Utico calls me Biz. That's a good range. Okay. Head to the Valis. Alrighty, I think I am gonna go to Fortuna and get my faction standing. Get my good boy points for the day. Alrighty. And I have to head back outside because I have to go to the Valis. I have no idea who brought about that meme of good boy points. <laughs> Seriously, like, who the fuck thought of that? Why? A K bomb? Yep. That's not what we discussed. Wait. There's a repo test? Who's on it? Ah, crap. Okay. Fine. But we do this my way. No K bombs. Had about enough less for one day. Okay, no K bombs. That's why I hate that lady. She's such a fucking chicken shit. And things are lagging. Okay. All right. We do this quietly. Maybe, just maybe, Neff doesn't find out. Okay. This isn't the old days. We've got no leverage now. All we can do is try to save our people from Ooh. getting ground up by the bureaucracy. Oh. Uh. People are already getting ground up, you mean? Wait, is this a K-Drive race? Repo by repo. How many even remember actual freedom? Oh, yeah, I don't have a K-Drive, sir. I'm gonna go piss off now.
You're definitely right about one thing. This place is fucking massive. Yeah. I, I'm actually interested if they plan to do an open world planet where the infested is in control. Uh, it's possible. I, I mean, the infested kind of wants to om nom everything. They're like tyranids. Well, they could still do it. How? You really can't talk to them effectively, and they really don't care what you have to say. Well, it could be about, like, us helping people against the infested while the whole planet's topside is completely overrun with them. See, now that makes sense. Yeah. But the idea of having people who are infested dealing with infested or dealing with another faction, that'd be quite strange. Well, yeah, like, they'd have to, they'd have to do it like what I just thought of right there. Just make it where, like, people are, like top underground or like hiding in some place that the infested can't enter and you have to help them with the infested that's overrun the entire surface of the planet yeah i feel like they'll do that for maybe sedna me i thought of like an open uh, open world planet that'd be a good place would probably be like eris yeah perhaps so and i see where i have to go and there's a vent here It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So you can destroy corpus units. As per usual. Ow, 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 ow! What's that last one? Ah, uh, crap, I... I failed! Crap! Ah, okay, okay, that was my fault. I'll be right back, everyone, when I get back to that spot. Uh, I need ten more enemies. I'm more Ah, god dang it. <gasps> you like get your ass kicked in? Mm, no, I'm just, uh... Waiting for my moment. They have a fucking drone flying around. What sucks is I have nothing silenced, so I'm gonna have to go in there guns blazing anyway. What about your melee? Well, I do have that, yes, but I don't know how well I'll be able to kill off a drone without my sentinel accidentally deciding to shoot someone without my consent. Oh, you got one of those sentinels. And oh, I got sucks. spotted somehow from outside. Ah, uh, baby Zanuka. Boy. How did that not kill it? Give me some new car. What? Ah, hurry up, hurry up! Give me it! Ah! Way more than as a noodle. Ah, get away, get away! It's a very strange noodle. I will destroy you all! That is a big osprey! Ow, and he hurts. Yeah, I'm sure he does hurt. And my sentinel's already dead. Oh my lord! Everything in its mother is shooting at me! <laughs> Too far away. Now I just gotta wait until it clears up. Ow. I am gonna go turn in a mission. And let my left ass cheek rest while the right one does all the work. Huh. Yeah. Didn't know I could do that, did you? Alright, now that I got all that hostility off me. What the fuck? Yay! They just spawned in front of me! 
<laughs> Didn't you remember what I told you earlier? They spawned behind me. Okay, that's a new one. Didn't you remember what I told you earlier? They spawned right on top of you and in front of you. Well, you definitely were right about that. Ah, give me the skin, give me the skin. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, oh, what I... I do a lot of these. Give me your blood. I need to heal. Give me your left testicle. What? More blood. Utico, I will, I will, I will repeatedly pimp slap you. Agents, what the hell? Oh! There's something in the buffer. We need to get it decoded before the device fails. Okay, I have to find bodies of people. Is there anyone here who is not in debt, or at least close enough that they can just leave this shit all? Like, it's colorful, sure, but I mean, you can't even pee in peace. I want to pee in peace. Uh, another one. God damn, these guys keep spawning out of nowhere. Where's the last body? How's this fucking fair? It's not popping up. Now it pops up. Are you fucking kidding me? Finally. God damn. Ah, my Great. left nut. Now I only have 13 seconds before this. Hmm. Yeah, not have long a D. <laughs> Fucking game fucked me over! Oh, so? It, I could not find the other body! The other ones were being highlighted with a yellow dot, but the last one wasn't! And as soon as there was only 20 seconds left, it finally pops up. Hmm. Oh, yes. I got an echo in here. Used to record visual data in the aqua systems and transmits the telemetrics to the research station. It can be found in the lake of Zenus. Or Venus, not Zenus. People, you are free! What? Oh, I have to hold now. Okay. Watching the door. Oh crap, Thursby! Uh, I love the ragdoll physics. Thursby's in trouble! So what happened to Thursby? Oh, he's... He's gone. Appeal to his mercy. Show him what we can do. 
Get top side. I'll help them you win. So now we have to beg and plead at the mercy of Nathaniel and do as he asks, really. Are you still there? Bata! Yes, I was concentrating. <laughs> I'm fishing right now. My engineers need a mineral amorust to counter the inevitable heat cascade. I've marked an excavation site where you should find some. Oh. Bring it back. There's a faster Maybe. one. Stop the yeah. Yeah. Where do I go, miss? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Ooh, that way. Spiders! Ah, the lag is real. Run from the spiders. I am basically just bathing in the water at this point. I am one with the fishies. Well, robotic fish. Gotta do like an excavators thing. Yep. I have... Lead the way. Where do I go, Miss? Where do I go? That way. Going that way. Let me enjoy my damn fishing spot. Can you please kindly not shoot me in the face repeatedly, sir? Sir. On one second. What the hell? Loris, this disaster is your bumbling. Present me your floor boss. I, I am your floor Utica, FB9. I take responsibility for this. Finally, one of you shows some backbone. Floor boss. Select 50 workers of low efficiency. Have them in front of Fortuna for three. Their upgrades I shall use to survive some greater efficiency. And for the failures, the great shell. Make your list. You have one more big hour. Okay, I am back. Welcome back. And stuff's getting real. Uh, how real? Um, Nathaniel's coming for repoing. Oh, yeah. And Utico is... Showing backbone in Nathaniel's eyes, but this is also, I can tell, gonna turn into something very bad very quick. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck I am going.
Ness massing his troops outside our doors. Fuck. And you're the only thing standing between us and bloody oblivion. I will help. Knew I could trust you. Take this. There's a present in there for the mucking taxi. Why don't you deliver it? Okie dokie. A gift for taxmen. I give gift. Back topside again. <laughs> it's fucking back and forth. I see what Utico is having me do. Yeah. Um. Nathaniel, prepare to be pissed. And game lag again. Come on, come on. They're definitely gonna fix quite a bit of these glitches. I can tell, cause goddamn, that is. Pretty Holy shit! My god, it is so glitchy. Okay, so now we got to see a new person in Warframe box. Huh. And he oddly looks almost like Nathaniel, but with white and purple. Defend the gate. Ow. Oh, fuck you! Oh my lord! How am I gonna fight that thing? Fuck it! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Oh yeah, floofs. Spotted Ballora floof. Do you know what a floof is? No, but I know I'm stuck in the elevator. Floof. Oh, now it's opening. Okay. So, Utico, you want to tell me how to fight a giant mechanical spider that's right outside your door? Solaris United's just getting started. Yes. Monas messing with this investor showcase. He's planted that old mother out there to make sure we stay in here. But now is the time to press for lever. Okay. Head to the surface when you're ready. I've arranged a little something for you. You arranged something for me. 
Ah, damn, this is a lot of going up and down. Oh, I, oh, I, give me the... Whoa! Holy crap! And I got shot off the K-Drive. Go, go, go! Woo! <laughs> Later! <laughs> Woo! Woo oh my god, I love how my scarfs on Garuda's arms flow in the wind on this board! Kill people by running them over. So what do I do here, Unico? Oh. Ah, oh, this leg. Come on. This lag is fucking me over. Lag. Oh my god. My healing ability can uh, heal defensive things too. Good. It's almost done.
my board. Oh, there it is. have been rewarded the K Drive launcher Oh right. something on fire <laughs> Oh god After all that we actually got to end this episode here that was fun even though Going up and down constantly was a little bit repetitive. It was still actually very fun. I'm loving this new expansion. I can't wait to ex experience more of it. And hopefully this time I'll get to do it alongside with Cronin this time. Because I would have loved help right there with what I had to deal with. But, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Please, leave a like, comment, tell us what you think of the video. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye! Bye. -bye. Bye. It's delicious.